I can't believe I'm making this video because I never in a million years figured I'd be talking about Xbox buying an even bigger acquisition than ZeniMax. And after the Bethesda buyout, a lot of people figured Xbox was done with new studios for at least a year or so. And maybe, just maybe, they'd sit back and relax a little bit and expand on the studios they already have and the teams each studio is building. It's been a roller coaster ride to say the least when it comes to Xbox news, and I have to admit, it's been such a great time as a massive Xbox fan, because for the longest time, I feel like Xbox fans have been waiting for Xbox to announce things that truly excite them. Especially after the years and years of negative news coverage Xbox has been getting during the Xbox One generation. Yet now as we talk about the Xbox brand today, we can all admit that Xbox has turned over a new leaf. It seems that every single day, there's some awesome news that surrounds the Xbox brand, which is something we all have to get used to because it felt like yesterday, every single day, there was something negative surrounding the Xbox brand. Yet since 2018, I feel extremely confident in the Xbox brand and I can see the bright future it has going forward, especially with the established first party studios they have under the Xbox studio umbrella. And it would seem like that umbrella is going to get even bigger because there's a lot of rumors going around that Xbox isn't done buying new studios. And I've covered this topic before and I talked about every single studio that might join the Xbox family. But right now, there's been other leaks suggesting that I might have been aiming a little lower on the totem pole when it comes to studios. And that maybe, just maybe, the Bethesda acquisition was just the beginning. It would seem that Xbox is actually ready to announce a new acquisition and it might be bigger than the Bethesda one, which I find extremely hard to believe. Because there's not many studios or publishers out there to match the amount of AAA studios Bethesda has to offer. But then again, at this point, anything is possible when it comes to Microsoft funding Xbox to be the leader in gaming. So let's get into what was said by industry insiders and let's speculate on who Xbox might be targeting. Because I honestly can't wait to see what the gaming industry is going to be like in the next couple of years. Or even in the next couple of months. So let's dive into this. But first, like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. So first of all, I have to say that this is all speculation and nothing is confirmed, but after what we saw with Bethesda and Xbox, we really can't take anything off the table, especially when Xbox and Microsoft are truly going hand in hand into gaming. If you remember a few weeks ago after Xbox acquired ZeniMax, Phil Spencer, the head of Xbox, and Satya, the guy running all of Microsoft, took to media outlets to talk about the future of gaming. And in those statements, they talked a lot about Xbox Game Pass and of course, xCloud. Those two things are going to be the main contributing factors to Xbox and its platforms. Will the console matter? Of course it will, but Xbox is moving all forms of gaming forward, not just the console. So when they talk about Game Pass and xCloud, all I think about is content. They need content to make those platforms and services actually matter to the average gamer. And where does gaming content come from? Well, it comes from studios that make those games. And not just smaller games like AA games, but massive games that will grab the average gamer's attention. It's why Xbox went out and bought Bethesda and all their studios to make massive AAA games. They literally went out there and bought 8 AAA studios in one fell swoop. And it would seem that this was only the beginning because a recent article came out talking about Tom Warren and some other insiders hinting that Xbox is going to be buying even more studios, which I've covered before on my channel, but what's different about this speculation is that some insiders think that Bethesda was only the beginning and that Microsoft and Xbox might have an even bigger fish in the bag, which to me is crazy, but let's see what the article has to say and where this all came from. Here's what's said. While the gaming industry around the world is now only trying to recover from the sensational acquisition of Bethesda and ZeniMax Studios by Microsoft, a new rumor appears to be ready to once again shake the foundations of the global video game industry, and as the protagonist, we find the Redmond Company again. After investing over $7.5 billion to buy the software house famous above all for creating franchises such as The Elder Scrolls, Doom, and Fallout, the company founded by Bill Gates seems to be ready to announce soon the arrival of a new important player within this team. Alright, so first of all, we all have to admit that Xbox really did shake up the foundation of the gaming world when they got ZeniMax. I mean, think about it people, when E3 happens every year, there's a couple of massive events. There's Xbox's showcase, which is massive, then we have Sony's PlayStation showcase, which is a powerhouse, then we have Ubisoft, EA, and a bunch of other cool publishers that bring out great games. And of course, we have Bethesda, who has a massive show almost every single year. So when you look at what Xbox has done, they literally bought an entire show at E3, basically. So when we talk about a massive publisher like ZeniMax joining an already massive publisher like Xbox, you have to take it all in. 
I bring this up because it would seem that Xbox isn't done buying massive gaming companies, and it seems like they might try to shake up the gaming world again. Here's what's said in the article. To reveal it is an indiscretion communication by the insider Festfall Ed. I butchered that name. During a podcast he conducted and held with the famous blogger of The Verge, Tom Warren, the latter in the midst of a discussion regarding the acquisition of Bethesda said he believes that Microsoft sooner or later will announce a new acquisition, admitting, however, that it is only a simple guess. To these words, Ed replied declaring that based on what he was told by some sources very close to Microsoft, the company would seem to be ready to conclude a new heavy purchase soon. In fact, according to the podcast host, the announcement may have been specifically chosen last as save the best for last before the official launch of the Xbox Series X. Okay, let's dive into this because I have a hard time believing that Xbox is going to announce someone better than ZeniMax. I mean, come on, eight massive AAA studios that make world-renowned games that everyone loves? Think about the talent that's on those teams. We have Todd Howard, who is one of the most beloved game directors in the world. Pete Hines, who is one of the best marketing people in the business. Everything about Bethesda is world class, and to make things even better, they have an amazing relationship with Xbox and Microsoft. You can see in countless interviews going back years about the amazing relationship Xbox and Bethesda had. So the acquisition was almost a perfect fit for both companies. Now you throw in all the amazing franchises and amazing games that come with Bethesda, and you would be hard pressed to find anyone better than that which the article agrees with me on. Here's what's said. However, it would seem very difficult to believe that the Redmond company is ready to communicate the purchase of a company as important as Bethesda or of equal value to be included with the Xbox Game Studios ecosystem. Now more than ever, rich in software houses of the highest level. No other information has been provided regarding the reliability of the source or the company that Microsoft seems to be willing to acquire, so the only thing that can be done at present is to wait for further developments in the coming weeks, dealing with this news as a mere indiscretion. As you can see, even the article points out that they don't think anything will top the amazing get of Bethesda. And I have to honestly agree with them because that purchase is going to go down in gaming history as one of the craziest things to ever happen. But just to mess around and play around with companies that might actually match or get close to the value with Bethesda, I wanted to go down the path of companies that might actually be on Xbox's radar. Some of them might surprise you, but again, it's just speculation. And we could just go back and look at the rumors that have been coming out for the past year or two. So first up is obviously WB Games, and how could they not be? There was crazy amounts of rumors regarding those studios and how AT&T wanted to sell them. And those rumors circulated for a good month or so, much like the rumor of Xbox buying ZeniMax a few months ago. And after that month, the rumors just vanished and went away, just like the ZeniMax rumor did back then. I always said that multiple companies were looking into WB Games and that those studios are some of the best in the business. Not to mention it's a privately owned company, I believe, so it would be much easier for Xbox to buy them. And if you look at the studios and the IPs involved, this could be the closest to quality that Bethesda brought to the Xbox platform. And of course, like every other studio, they have games in development and are probably going to be coming to the PS5. But it has been shown that Xbox doesn't really care about that if the game is going to release in a year or so. And once those games are done and released, they'll transition to an Xbox-centric development style. So with these rumors going around, this is the biggest publishing studio I can see Xbox going after, especially with the studios and talent involved. Up next isn't a massive publisher, but a gaming company I think people would love to see go back to Xbox. That's Bungie. I know I just made a video about them a week or so ago, but I can't help but think a lot of people would lose their minds to find out that Xbox is going to be buying the massive studio that is Bungie. Is it as big as Bethesda? No, not even close, but they're extremely talented and make some of the biggest games in the world. So I could see how they'd become extremely valuable to Xbox and what they're trying to build. Because we have to remember people, the main concern for Xbox is Game Pass and X Cloud. So I have a feeling they're going to invest in a lot of gaming studios so they can flood the gaming services they've established with great content. Much like Netflix has done over the last several years, they invested in a lot of original content to keep people on the platform. So don't be surprised if Microsoft and Xbox do the same thing to combat the gaming world in a different manner than previously done before. And with 23 Studios, they can do just that. But if they keep adding even more first party studios, it's going to make Xbox Game Pass a must-have subscription for every single gamer around the world. 
PC gaming, console gaming, mobile gaming, it doesn't matter. Those gamers will have to be a part of the Xbox ecosystem because of the value of Game Pass and the games coming to the service. So I don't think Xbox is going to shy away from spending even more money on massive studios. Let's hope this continues because Xbox is truly shaking up the gaming world and I'm loving every single minute of it because it's so fun to watch this company really invest in gaming and push it forward even more. But enough of what I think about all of this, tell me what you think about all of this. What is bigger than Bethesda to you? Do you think Xbox is going to buy another massive publisher? Is Bungie a huge get that can shake the gaming world? What other publisher makes sense to you? Is WB Games still up for sale? Would all those gaming IPs from WB Games change the gaming world to you? Will Xbox announce multiple independent studios like they did in 2018? Or will Xbox stay put and invest in the studios they already have? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter, at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter, and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing, and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm playing Dishonor 2, and I'm having a blast with that game. It's a lot of fun. It's on Game Pass. I've said this before, and it's just a great game. I really love what Arcane Studios has done with that franchise and honestly it's brutal fun and i'm just enjoying it i really recommend everybody check it out especially on console or pc i'm actually playing between both of them i'm checking the differences on the xbox one x and pc version and i gotta say it runs smoothly on both xbox and pc so i really recommend you check it out no matter what platform you're on but tell me what you're playing are you working through your backlog or are you waiting for the new games to come out go down below and let me know i would like to know what everybody's playing and that's all for now thanks for watching and until next time remember enjoy your gaming later